With miles and miles of hiking trails surrounded by natural Minnesota beauty, it's no wonder that Lebanon Hills Regional Park frequently ranks among the Twin Cities' best natural attractions. But before it became a beacon for parks lovers, the land within the park had an illicit past. At the time, you know, it was just ordinary people living on the land. In the 1920s, before the property became a park, it was a hotbed for producers of moonshine. All illegal at the, because of the Volstead Act that banned you know, the purchase, the production and sale of alcohol. Newspaper accounts point to at least four production spots, each with a large still on the property. People were renting farmland outside of the Twin Cities and they would come down, have their moonshine ring and, and you know, their stills and everything here and then they would bring it back up with them to the Twin Cities. Matthew Carter of the Dakota County Historical Society says at the time, prohibition agents were working with local grocery stores to track the purchase of items used in fermentation. If they noticed someone was buying an exorbitant amount of sugar, they would kind of get tipped off. He says some moonshiners even turned to beekeeping. As a way to get around buying sugar, they would use honey from the bees. Carter says, we don't know what tipped off the prohibition agents to the pre-park production sites, but they raided the four sites in 1925. The newspaper article said that there was so much that was caught between these four locations that they were trying to um, you know, basically feed the entire Twin Cities with how much stuff was confiscated. You can learn more about Dakota County's prohibition era past at the Dakota County Historical Society's Museum in South St. Paul.